Good Hi! Morning. <laughs> so guess Wait, what? Welcome back to Tavia Talk and Collins Cosmos. Oh yeah. Your little intro. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Yep. Is okay. it my turn? Yeah. <laughs> so guess what today is? It's Tuesday. Well, Tibby Tuesday. It's the third day of the best month of the whole year. Oh. It is the beginning of birthday month for the both of us. Yeah. <laughs> So, back, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> smoke. Tavia's birthday is on the 16th of March. Yeah. Mine's on the 18th. Yep. I think that's why we're so... Kindred. Yeah. Yeah, because we're like the we same... We have the same vibe. We're like the same human in different bodies. Right, yeah. We are the perfect description of somebody who's confused. Because we're a little bit of each other. Maybe. Two different bodies. Yeah. 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 We just found each other, so we don't have to explore options. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing for a birthday? I don't know. Okay, well, first of all... You know I don't like celebrating. Well, I love my birthday. Don't get me wrong. I think I'm like a fine bottle of wine. I get better with age. Yeah, I think year. so too, yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Mm -hmm. So celebrating, I'm going to be... Except these wrinkles are not... Mine? No, mine. Oh. Anyways, I'm going to be 34. And I'm stoked. I'm going to be 32. And he's equally excited. I don't know about that, but... <laughs> I don't know, my 30s, well, last 30s. year was a little rough. Well, part of it. 30s haven't been bad overall. I've liked my 30s. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know, I was thinking, I need to call that place today. Are you still down for the joined birthday extravaganza? <sighs> yes and no. Why? What are your, what are your I never about? have birthday parties because nobody ever comes. Right. It's hard. I told you this. You have to invite like 100 people and then... Like 20 comes. I don't have 100 people that I want to invite. <laughs> yeah. So I would invite the like solid 20 that I would want to be there and then five show up. would show up. Three. Right. Three. Yeah. Somebody's spouse got sick. That's why there's three. It'd be one couple and a single because because my friends don't ever show up for things that are involved oh, with me. Oh, that's sad. I know. Thank God they've never seen this podcast. I don't know. They know how I feel. I don't know if. But see, they wouldn't watch the podcast either. Right, they're because they're not supportive. They're not supportive of right. me. Mm -hmm. well, that but yet, I just keep holding on. Right, you do. You, I do. You, you, you. I try not to give up. You don't give up. No. Yeah. I keep on keeping on. Yeah. Trying. So I, so I think Spencer. I was supposed to be in Mexico. Oh we yeah. Before. Let's talk about. I called Colin yesterday, and he goes, <gasps> "The worst news happened." I was like, "Oh my God, Ben's died." Oh my God. I got nervous, and guess what he said to me? My trip to Mexico was canceled. I said, "Okay." So I was supposed to go to Mexico <laughs> with Janelle. Before. I got really scared. I was like, "What is always wrong with Ben's?" You were like almost in tears. About Mexico. I was upset. Well, because it's not just I that. was upset. So I was supposed to go to Mexico with Janelle for her trip. Free her, and clear. For, yeah, it was a free trip to like the Four Seasons and Puna Minda. I don't know if that's how you say that. But uh, for because she was the one of the top salespeople. And so they take them on a trip every year. Yeah, should we shout out Jan? <clears throat> whoop, whoop, Jan. Shout out what? Just her name and that she's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Janelle's awesome. Whoop, whoop, Jan. Because her Instagram is private like yours too, so. Because we are <coughs> private individuals. So they canceled it because of the coronavirus. Now let's talk about the coronavirus for just a second. Okay, my friend had the funniest meme, so you first and then I'll read. <laughs> well, no, I just want to talk about it and what your thoughts are okay. on the coronavirus because I have my thoughts and... I don't know. What are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are, so I was supposed to go to Mexico. The trip got canceled because they're worried about coronavirus. I get it. Publicity, all that stuff for the company. If somebody got sick, yada, yada, yada. Well, Janelle Spencer is supposed to go to Europe in May and Italy. And so they completely canceled their trip because they said if they go to Italy, their company will not let them back to work for two weeks. They have to quarantine themselves for two weeks if they come back. And my mom, I'm supposed to go to Europe in July. Yeah. Your We're mom's supposed not to go going. to Italy. We're supposed to go on a cruise. Which, you know, they quarantine those people for two weeks in, on the boat. In their cabin. In their cabin. You can't leave your cabin. Right. You and your mom, hopefully you paid for the balcony. I so that did. you can jump off and hope for the best when you hit the water from 1,000 feet in the air and just be like, oh, that's better than this. So my mom's talking about canceling our trip. So it's just compounding that it, it's it's ruining my summer. Basically. Maybe it's you. It's not the coronavirus. It's all of your trips. It's all about you. The catalyst to this. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Just making 
need all about you for well, a sec. And so, the, so I just had it's to... It's ruining know. his summer. It's ruining my life. <laughs> but it's also, I feel like it's ultimately affecting... I mean, th th they're saying you need to be prepared for two weeks to stay in your house. You need food, water, everything to... First of all, you don't need water because you have a faucet. Example over here. What if they turn off the water? Who's turning off the water? I don't know. It's a big thing. They're saying you need to be prepared. So I think it's becoming more of a uh, an economic thing because I just had a closing with a pilot. It was a pilot uh, flight attendant couple. Should I not be booking a trip? They're worried because uh, like flying, like travel is coming to a halt. So they're worried that they're going to lose their jobs. Like this is becoming like a, a compounding effect. Okay, wait. We just were on the phone with hubby. And he's gonna book a flight. Yeah, where were you guys going? We were to Augusta. Oh. For cute. the, uh, not the Masters, but the Women's Amateur. Okay. Mind you, we got the Women's Amateur tickets last year for $75. Is it an amateur? Amateur. Amateur, what's that? Like, amateur. Oh. But it's called the Women's Amateur. Okay, all right. I don't know golf terminology. That's what it's called. Anyways, they play at the, they play at the same course as the Masters, but to get to the, it's just impossible. You're paying thousands and thousands, like $10,000 to go for the Masters. Yeah. So anyways, it's all about the course for Luke and the experience. So we went last year and he won the lottery. And, those are nice. and that's how we got the tickets for $75. Oh, wow. You're right. Well, he didn't get the email this year. So then he feels like he got gypped. And so the other night I was like, I have told you months ago, we should just get tickets. You can buy them off StubHub. We saw it happen last year when we were there. Yeah. Well, the tickets are now going to be $400 a ticket. Oh, okay. <laughs> but he's using points for our hotels and our flights. So really, we're just paying for our tickets. Right, yeah. And it's like a cute weekend away. It's right around his birthday. Oh. So I was like, we should do it. We liked it. We loved walking so the golf course together. Time. Yeah. So anyways, coronavirus. Um, should we not be going on this trip? I mean, I don't know. I, Devon said last night that they're going to start canceling flights within the United States. I, this is like a big thing. And I, I thought that it was just like media hysteria. And I don't think it's honestly, my personal opinion is, I don't think it's, I don't think the flu, exactly. The what about flu the swine so flu? People. What was that one with the mosquito? West Nile. Right. And then there was Zika. I don't know. And then there was the bird cage. I don't know. That's why I want to see your feeling. I feel like it's being blown out of proportion. I mean, yes, people are, lots of people are getting my sick. My question is, is who's getting sick? Is it like the elderly who what? are already Everybody's like, getting sick, but the people that are dying, for, to my knowledge, might not be completely educated on this, to my knowledge are elderly people that have compromised immune systems or very, like, young, like, children that are premature, like, very, like, babies. people that don't have very immune, immune system. systems. Right. So, kind of like the what flu. the flu kills you. The flu, exactly. So, I mean, I get it that everybody, like, you know, they don't want a widespread sickness, but it's, it's, it's affecting a lot of aspects of our lives. So I wanted to get your opinion. Should I wear thoughts. a mask to the golf course? Well, and that's the thing. Like, so you can't just wear a surgical mask. You have to wear that, like the, the more intense mask. Why? Because the surgical mask doesn't help with anything. And I was reading an article and it said that it's... I feel like scared that we're talking to each other right the now. Mask. Our breaths are on each other. Well, yeah, because I have this like weird allergy <laughs> sickness thing. <laughs> Documentation um, of David's last Yeah, day. patient zero. <laughs> patient zero. <laughs> but there, I read this article that said that the masks, they don't even really help. Really, it's it's you touching something that's infected and then you touching your mouth or your... So gloves. My hands are like chapped because I was washing them so much on like where we were flying while we were traveling. Chapped. Where were you traveling? Seattle. <laughs> Which also they have like three... Cases oh, Jesus Christ, County. get out of this house. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know it. how to it's feel about it. my life. I was sad. Janelle called me yesterday and she's like, well, let's just go to Blackhawk for your birthday. And I was like, okay. I guess. Like, it's like. <laughs> Deep down, he's crying because life. his free vacation. My free vacation's down the drain. <laughs> my two free vacations, my mom was going to pay for our Europe trip, so like, hello. It's ruining his It's ruining life. my life. <laughs> and I'm not happy. Do you though. know what else is going to ruin your life? When you get stuck in your fucking condo for two weeks. And with no food, because you know how I live. I have no food. He's like a bird. Yeah. You know. And you can't order food. 
I don't exactly know how quarantine works. So my girlfriend just posted this meme and it was like <laughs> to all the doomsayers at Costco stocking up uh, something like, but go ahead and continue to eat the fucking samples that's out for everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to touch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, oh, we are not eating samples at Costco right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, we should Isn't probably never eat samples If ever. you start thinking about it, you go down like a wormhole. Like, I try not to think about it too much. I just try to wash my hands and... Keep on keeping on. Keep on. See, that's why... Am Drinking I Drinking your vitamin C, right? Is what vitamin C help us? Yeah, it what? helps your immune system. What stops this? Do we know? I don't think... It's, it's not solved? A health, healthy immune system. You mean stopping the epidemic? I don't know. They need to come up with some sort of vaccine. But I feel like they, they can't, like, pinpoint the virus and the strain. I don't know. My mom was saying something like they don't know where it came from. It was a plant, an animal, a cow, a dog, a well, human. What I heard, and again, this is just, you know, off the cuff. Off the cuff. What I heard was it was God, we're like snakes. We're very uh, political or like we are like really today. we're like mature today. I, this is don't get used to this. Don't get used to this. <laughs> it's ruining Colin's life. So right now we're inside. So it's on top of mine. It's from so snakes. Snakes like raw snake meat that was in these open markets in. I'm sorry. Oh, oh. raw snake meat. Well, so like you like kill the snake and then they skin it or whatever, and then there's snake meat, and then these. Did your whole body just go like this? I hate snakes. Like my like from my tippy tippy toes to the J, all the way up the my, my body just like crinkled. Yeah, yeah, it's like fucking so foul. Like Bacteria and like viruses combining, and that's how oh, the virus, my head's itching. Virus like <laughs> spawn. That's what I heard. Isn't that crazy? Ew, I'm like, in the open so market. itchy. I know. It's not great. Open market, my ass. So I'm going to Whole Foods tonight and buying my chicken. Is that safe? I don't know. It's in a cage. It's in a. It's in a kitchen. Do you buy a whole chicken? Oh my god. We buy the chicken and then we pluck it. Well, you know, Denny's family used to do that. They used to buy like whole chickens, Let's kill the me. chicken, defeather it, like a whole thing. Like he was like, oh, I can't come over tonight. I can't hang out tonight because we're slaughtering a pig. Like they'd buy a whole pig and like chop it up. Was in this their like a family murder event? <clears throat> yeah. It was like a family thing because it's, like it's like a family of sociopaths. Oh, or just Asian culture. Oh God! They did that in like in their house. Okay, in I'm not their kitchen. Lie. So there's this one time. There's this little place over um, by Arby's on 92nd and Sheridan. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? There's like an there. Yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. I think an Asian market. Yeah, yeah, Kmart or H Mart. H Mart. Okay, I, was, I think Kmart's like a store. It's H Mart. Yeah. Okay, and then there's a there's like a Chinese restaurant maybe or an Asian restaurant. I'm not lying to you once. I left Arby's, which I am not ashamed of. Their mac and cheese. Have you tried it? No. Oh, it's good. Anyway, I'm on I space Arby's. food, so I can't. But I would love me some curly fries in the horsey sauce. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, you left Arby's. I left Arby's. I was probably, this is when I worked at the apartment, so this would have been 13, 14 years ago. Mm hmm and I'm not kidding you, I saw somebody out behind the building, like there's like kind of like a grassy ridge before you get up onto the road, and he was out there beating some animal with a stick, and I was like, no, my God, that's gonna be served. I so weird if I can got it, and then he told me that Denny like kills chickens, I was like, I probably saw him murdering a goddamn chicken, and then taking it back inside the restaurant. Maybe. And at the, okay. Well, like, it wasn't a well, restaurant, it was like a grocery store. You have a grocery store? Oh, 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 you're talking about the restaurant next door? Yes! Oh, I thought you were talking about the grocery no, store. No, no, the restaurant oh. man in his white plastic oh. shield apron was outside. Maybe he was tenderizing the meat? On the ground. I don't know. That's crazy. Wow. So anyways, I saw that about, about got into a car accident. And then at this one, re this one apartment I worked at in Broomfield, kind of by that, uh, you know, where... The, that pizza place is by the nativity or what is that um, Catholic school? I literally no idea. Okay, you about. know where? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Um. Okay, we had a family that lived there. Okay. At the apartment, and they owned an Asian an Asian buffet just walking distance from the apartment complex. And my maintenance guy came in one day and said he saw them with like a big trash can, you know, like the circle trash cans on wheels. 
and they bring it from the restaurant to the house and it's like all the vegetables that they chop up and then they like wheel it back. Like they transport it to their home and chopped the food and then brought it back. I mean, if you, uh, if we honestly knew. If we dug in, I think eating out at a fine dining steakhouse is like giving it up probably, to God. Yeah. Probably. Like because not. I have my cute clients right now who, he's a chef. Right. An executive chef at a bomb ass steakhouse. We should go. Yeah. And um, he's going to write a memoir, he said one day. But he's got to do it when he's done. God, That's, because he's just gonna toss everything out there. Because That's horrible. Yeah, I was like, I feel like now if it's not Arby's, if it's the steakhouse, like I'm giving it up to Jesus that you didn't wipe your ass with that steak. Yeah, I think I don't think I don't want to know. I don't want to see. You know, it kind of makes me feel a little better. Better when you go to a restaurant where you can like see the kitchen. Right, the where open air kitchen. And you're like, okay, okay. I'm watching you, and you didn't glove up. Yeah, did you sneeze and then just touch my meat? Or? Oh my god, you want to live? said this. <laughs> what? Okay, we were having spaghetti last night, which, by the way, I oh, think. Oh yeah, how was your quinoa spaghetti? The quinoa pasta noodle. Perfect. You want to know why? Because you can eat an entire plate of pasta and not feel like balls afterwards because yeah. it doesn't puff up. Yeah. And Savannah can actually eat it and it doesn't hurt her tummy. Oh, is she gluten intolerant? I don't think she is and I don't think I'm going to find out because I don't feel like I want to go down that road. Change my lifestyle. Right. Yep. Bad mom. It's fine. <laughs> Judge me. Don't care. She's fine. She eats everything else. She just sometimes complains. I complain about dairy. Right. And I've cut it out gradually after my 30-ish years. Have home. you really? Helen always used to tell me, stop getting those lattes. You're so nasally. You're allergic to dairy. I'm like, no, I'm not. No, but I'm you not. still, okay, so you don't have any No, I have not had, cream in your I have not had milk in, the only time I ever have milk would be in coffee because I don't drink milk. Um, and that's been probably a year. Wow, really? Yeah. But I eat cheese. Yeah. Like cheese is my, my girl. Yeah. I drink milk with literally every meal. Oh my god. We go out to lunch. Psycho. We go out it's to lunch. Psychotic. To get like Chipotle's, excuse me, of a kid's milk. I'm like, that's the most embarrassing thing ever. You know what you know, milk is the best with? Chinese food. Because there's no dairy in Chinese food. So like, oh. it's all dairy. Okay. So, so, no. This girl that I've become friends with at the school, she was volunteering and was helping Olivia. With, so they were talking presidential stuff. And it's like, if I was president, what law would I change? Oh, very deep. I know. And Olivia's like, what does that even mean? <laughs> and the mom was like, she's like, you know, like, would you want eggs for breakfast every day? And she said, Olivia made no noise, but she went. <laughs> like, just. And, I was, and she started laughing and she goes, I see it. It's you. And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, you've made that face yeah. when I've said things. You don't make yeah. any noise. You just go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Olivia is amazing. And she, she goes, she had no, like, she wasn't even phased by her reaction. It was just like, uh, uh. Wait, so she doesn't like eggs? Oh, no. Wait, is Sab? Yeah, Sab will get down on eggs. Huh. And every time Savannah has eggs, Olivia goes, ugh, stink. And then uh, Olivia doesn't like cheese, right? Cheese, milk. <laughs> huh. I know. So then the Longmont Dairy Farmer man, milkman came, I don't know, two weeks ago. And I'm like, man, I don't have time. Yeah. And he's like, sample all my milk. And Olivia and I were the only ones here. We're both like, no. No, we're good. And he's like, oh, come on. Who doesn't like milk? And Olivia goes, ugh. I was like, ugh. <laughs> we both, ugh. Oh. And then he's like, try this one. I was like, here you go, Olivia. She's like, <laughs> she was so sweet to try it. She's like, I'll try the chocolate one, please. And that's the only one she wanted. He's like, how about strawberry milk? She's like, she's like I'm good. I'm good. And he's like, oh, just try it. And she like, she's like, do I have to finish that? No. Oh, and she was, poor baby. she was, mom, do you want it? I was like, absolutely not. No. I tossed it in the grass. I was like, that shit is sick. Oh. Yeah, so we don't do milk. Huh, that's but what interesting. I was going to tell you something about her. What? Savannah or Olivia? Oh, well, we're talking about sneezing, I think, in food. Oh. So we are eating last night. Oh, yeah. And Olivia's eating her quinoa pasta, and she sneezes, and she always covers like this. Yeah. And she's just, God, I that. hate when you sneeze when you have food in your mouth, because it's all, oh, all over her arm. Oh my god, it's so like, cute. Oh, I hate when that happens. Aww. And she's like rubbing. We're supposed to have a day with the babies, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
You just never want to put it on the calendar, do you? I don't put anything on the calendar. Um, so I want you to explain to the people what your space food is, your journey, because you mentioned it. And I, I don't, don't even want to. Yeah, it's, no. Why? I mean, I'm on a low what calorie. Is it? What is it? Explain what it is. <sighs> I don't, I, here's the problem. I got swindled into it, so I just know as much as I can to make it sound like I admit, like it's a good Dangerous, idea. Dangerous, right, yeah. yeah. I make it sound like it's a good idea to other people when honestly my stomach just can hurt from it. Yeah. But you have little fuelings that are all 100 calories and you're starving by the time you get to dinner and you're supposed to lose weight. It's Do you? Journey. You've lost some weight though. Have I? You told me you did. I did. I was at my very lowest this summer. Yeah. And I am a solid seven pounds heavier than that. Oh. So we got, we're back on. You the are way. like you're like working out every day though. You're on this diet. You feel like you're trying to eat a little How bit healthier. How can I work out every single like day and nothing's changing? These wings. I have the perfect shirt to show you if you wanted to see them. Well, some people can't see it. Well, it's there. I have that too. No, look, mine wigs. Ah! I feel like they're tighter. No, they're not. I think they are. I told Luke I'm gonna call the doctor. They have a thing. Chop them off. So when they're really bad, like old lady bingo wings, it's called a long scar. Uh -huh. And they you literally have a scar from here to from your, your elbow, elbow to your here. armpit and they take it out and they say, I don't think I need a long scar, but I am solidly sure they could lipo anything. And I think we're gonna do that. Or can we just have like an armpit scar where they just but pull, it, light, pull it and then tuck it? Wouldn't it still be skin? Okay, so we're gonna do a small scar. They gotta have a small scar that's like in your armpit. Pull and tuck and stitch. Huh. I'm fine with a scar in my armpit. Okay. All right. Are you into it? No. <laughs> that sounds very painful. Ow. <sighs> but, but yeah, you have been killing it. I'm trying to. You know what? So we went on our little trip with the girls this weekend. We went to the Oh, that's right. To the Gaylord and we swam. And in the morning we woke up on Saturday and we tried to convince the girls that the pool didn't open until at least nine or nine thirty, so we didn't start at fucking seven thirty. Right. And so we went over to the convention center and the girls each got a turn wearing the watch because they were like, let's get our calories. Oh my and I'm god, like, that's so cute. I know, but I was like, no, like I don't want you to think about calories. Oh, yeah. And Olivia's like, we gotta burn so many calories, but don't say that in front of grandma because she gets irritated. I'm like, no, we're just exercising. It's not about the calories. Right, yeah. It's about like, let's count our steps. Let's yeah. see how many steps. Like we did the same loop. And I was like, let's see how long it takes Olivia to loop it. Yeah. And how many steps she gets and how many loops for Savannah. That's gotta be hard, right? Because you want to balance it. Yeah, like, like you want I to be want... healthy, but not conscious about right. like being crazy, like right. I thin want... or whatever. Right, I want them, because Olivia said something like, grandma was trying to give her something, and Olivia was like, no, there's too many carbs in that. What? Yeah, and my mom's like, you know, my mom. And I'm like, yeah. mom, what Luke has said before is like, she'll have freaking bagel for breakfast, yeah. a sandwich for lunch, yeah. and then she wants goldfish and pretzels for a snack, and Luke's like, that's all carbs. Right, like, yeah. Let's have some something else. Like, he's not that. saying, like, don't eat carbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, I need to not eat carbs, too. Like, I get it. So I'm trying with Olivia to be like, it's about healthy balances. So, like, they watch us work out on the Peloton. They use the weights, and they, like, pretend to work out. So, anyways, we walked the, or ran, or Olivia did fucking cartwheels. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, right here in front of my shin. I was like, if that's called a shin splint, oh. you should chill. Oh my God. So we worked out uh, Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Mm -hmm. The girls were into a good workout and we got our steps in and we did at least 30 minutes of exercise. Wow. Yeah. So how is the Gaylord? I've never been there. I've heard the rooms are really nice. The rooms are great. And then the pool is... The inside, there's an inside pool and an outside pool and you can swim outside. It's open year round. Oh, it is? Yeah. So on Saturday we swam outside and the way they have the hotel position, you just, it's the front range. Oh. And they've got like a... Rainfall, waterfall, little. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yes, yeah, so you just sit there and look at the beautiful mountains. Yeah. Now the lazy river's closed, but in the summer it's open. Is it just packed during the? Because you guys have been there during the summer. We went during right? the summer and it was busy. I mean, it was busy. Yeah. I mean, we saw people though that we knew who live in Colorado there too. Well, I mean, that's what it's you guys did. You guys did like a staycation. Yeah. I'm almost, I'm out of the frame. I don't care. Um, <sighs> a lot of people do staycations like you did. We ran into like three birthday parties. There was like a sweet 16 there. Yeah. Um, a girl turned 10 and she had two little buddies and her mom. 
it was cute. Like, I think a lot of people are going there for the purpose that it's fun. There's a huge pool, it's beautiful. beautiful. There are great restaurants, like they've got a steakhouse that we were gonna go to, but it's equivalent. I mean, it was like a fifty-eight dollar flight. Oh. I'm like, okay, they're they're zombies. They were like eating French fries, like yeah, after right. swimming. So I just got the steak salad. Yeah. Oh, that's good. It was delicious. See, you're, you're, look at you. You're if just you on a journey. know someplace with a steak salad, I am in. Yeah. Uh, in like sin. In like sin. I love a good steak I do want to say, Janelle and Spencer stayed there for a convention, and they said that we should stay there during the summer. Absolutely. Just for like a staycation. We should all go. Yeah. The girls would love it. <gasps> oh my god. Yeah. There is a room with bunk beds, but it's always booked. <laughs> just one room? Well, I don't know. There's that, probably not just one room. Oh. But, but what if you, you and Jan and Spen, and we all went? Yeah. Do you want to come up to Blackhawk for our birthday weekend? When is that going to be? The weekend before. Mm, I've got my mom planned something on the 14th, but I don't know what it is. She told me just to be I ready. I think we're the 15th. No. It's 14th, 14, 15th. 15. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then my birthday's on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm excited because we were supposed to go to Blackhawk. Why couldn't we do it on Friday? A few months ago. Because um, you know I don't like Blackhawk, but that's okay. You don't? Well, I do. Why? You love gambling. I know, but I feel like Blackhawk's just a waste of my money. I, if I'm going to, like, throw out thousands, oh my God. I'd rather go to Vegas. Yeah. Is it wild to you? Lisa was shook. Is that the right term? Shook it. She was her wig fell off. <laughs> wig flow. <laughs> when we were in Vegas and I was just throwing money onto the craft table and she started adding it up. And I was like, don't add. Don't That's, add. Don't add. Like, she's like, how much did you buy in with? I was like, $1,000. Well, $1,000. I'll take like 400 and then when the 400 is done, like 400 is a like weird number like in my head. And when the 400 is done, I'm like, I'm done. If $400 was all Luke took, that would be a day. Yeah. Because but that's the thing, I don't like to gamble that much. So if I spend it all in a day, then like I'm like, cool. Especially in Vegas, I really don't gamble in Vegas because I'm out doing weird things. That's There's a fact. too much trouble to get into. So that's why I like going to Blackhawk because I actually like gambling up there because it's do? like that's all you have to do is to gamble. Yeah. So, you know, $400 up there goes a lot further, I would say. And if it's all done, then I'd go to the bar and whatever. Yeah, what do you do when it's done? I don't know. That's the thing with Blackhawk is like, that's like a Sunday day trip for me. Well, honestly, I play roulette and so it'll play with you for a while. You like roulette. Like I can sit there for, Spencer and I will sit there for hours and just play roulette and it'll How? just play with you. Like, what do you mean? I don't know. I, I mean, when I was in Vegas last time, I did hit my number. Well, I play the outside. Oh, yeah, Luke plays the outside. I just like playing, I just like getting, you know, free drinks and, you know, sitting there and getting to, talking to the people at the table and hanging out with Spencer. And well, what day are you guys going? Saturday night, probably? Uh, we're going Friday and Saturday night. Oh, we could go. whole weekend. We could go Friday night, maybe. Ooh, Friday the 13th. Is that what it is? Well, sadly, I think our time has come, but... We really just were, we're all over the place. adulting today. Coronavirus, Blackhawk, Vegas. Sneezing with food in your mouth. Sneezing with food in your mouth. But guess what? That's it's, how the cookie crumbles. That is how the cookie crumbles, but it's our birthday month. Oh. So you're going to see us all month. All month. And we are going to celebrate good times. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Thank well, you, yeah, you, know, know. you do it. Follow him. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Follow us on Instagram at TV Talk. Oh, My yeah. Instagram is at Collins Cosmos. I still haven't like fixed the TV Talk one yet, but we'll get there. Uh, subscribe because remember I'm going to upload all the uh, content. Oh yeah. Uh, subscribe on YouTube. Uh, follow us on Spotify, iTunes. We upload every Tuesday at 6 a.m. and we will check you on the next one. And that's how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> all right. Bye.